love to do scent work with the horses, above all because it gives them so much joy and pleasure. Um, it really lifts my spirit to see that playfulness and to see that joy. Because in our work sometimes, or maybe most of the times, the horse is the partner who has to obey all the time, who has to be controlled and they oblige. And with scent work they're given a task to do which I cannot. I cannot smell and I cannot follow those footstep tracks. He can. And there is a part of reciprocity in that. You do something I cannot and he's taking the lead in a safe manner. And that gives horses so much joy. Doing something that is so natural for them, finding their own food or finding a person or whatever you, you like to teach them. So above all on a personal level I so much enjoy seeing the horses having so much fun and pleasure. What I found with horses I do scent work with is that if they lead a life with multiple acute stress moment or they have a life with um, chronic stress or may maybe even the opposite if they are horses that are shut down could be moments could be for a long period of pain if you start to do scent work they are more easily and more quicker engaged and awake or for the chronic stressed horse they are easier or quicker to be calmer and i am a person that is a practical person so i'm working with the horses and i notice changes and then i start to talk with experts and i start to read so i was wondering why what is it? What is the magic of scent work? What does it do to the body and the brain that I see those results? And what I found, and I have to excuse myself beforehand because a body is obviously so, so complex and everything works together. But if I may just go into the dopamine system, and if you look at scent work and if you make a horse scent, you really activate the neurons in the olfactory tubercum, tuberculum. And those neurons are driven by dopamine. So when you do scent work, you stimulate those neurons to secrete extra dopamine in the body. And dopamine is is how do you say that? A hormone that gives the body a push to get going. You scent something and it makes you get up and go. You smell apple pie, you think am I hungry, I'm gonna get it. You smell a fire, you think am I in danger, I'm gonna go. And with that secretion of extra dopamine, I have the understanding that when you have a horse that has shut down, might have pain and has low dopamine levels, by giving them extra scent work tasks and extra stim stimulating the secretion of dopamine in the body, it helps the body to, to go into homeostasis quicker because you give the dopamine levels a push up. On the other hand, the horse that is severely stressed, that horse might have low dopamine levels and high glucocorticoid levels, where cortisol is one of them. And the extra secretion of the dopamine uh, has the effect on the body that in inhibits the cortisol release, and again, it gives dopamine, the low dopamine levels a push up. So for that horse, that horse also reaches homeostasis quicker. But again, the body is very complex, so bear with me that I only take that part out of the system to elaborate a bit. I miss some playfulness and fun in the handling between horse and handler. And when you do scent work and horses after a few times get the hang of it, they are like waiting to get going. And seeing that joy to me is well, it lifts my heart. So, I mean, that is on a personal level. So the horses like it. And I like to do it with horses because I also think, and I believe in reciprocity, giving back. And they do so much for us. So then we give them something they truly like. And on a more, well, on a more biological level, what I found in my work, um, as I did with the dogs, working as a behavior consultant, but also with horses, if you implement scent work in their lives, also for horses who have a behavioral challenge, it does a lot of good.